Hello, Wimmy fans. This is Steven. Gio. Welcome to our website, the Around Table. Today we'll be uh, talking about Jurassic World Dominion, uh, starring Sam Neill, Dallas Bryce Howard, um, Chris Pratt, Jeff Goldblum, Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and a slew of others. Uh, this one is the third part of the second trilogy that started off with Brass and Dallas Howard. You want to go first? No, I'll let you go first. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I got into it. I enjoyed it. I, I know it's not a great film, but for some reason, I got on board. Um, the only thing I think is missing was a big dinosaur battle, in my opinion. There are a lot of mistakes bad dialogue, but I was on board. I think I set my expectations so low for this one that I just, I got into it. It's a popcorn movie, but I went on a cheapy time. It's uh, before six, so it's like seven bucks on IMAX. I was uh, entertained. It's not mind blowing in any way, like the first Jurassic Park, nor was it expecting to be. All I said, it's missing a little bit of a, a giant, giant dinosaur fight and it would have been a really great, great, great movie. A lot of dialogue mistakes, uh, predictable. Um, to Hollywood, I'm gonna quote him, to Hollywood with all the love stories intertwining and everybody's falling back in love. A little that's too much, I understand, but today for some reason it paid off for me and I enjoyed it. What is your take on it? He got bought off because G uh, CGI, amazing. Yeah. Okay, the dinosaurs uh, face off. The T-Rex and the giant, giant, giant dinosaurs. It was 30 seconds. But they have twice, okay? Anyways, this is the most... Okay, let's put it this way. It's made for kids. Kids have no logic. That nothing makes sense. Like, oh, it's cute. It's dinosaur. Blah, 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 blah. It's crap stupid. It doesn't make sense in re the reality world at all. Even the actions make more stuff. But the dude, there's a T-Rex and giant dinosaurs, okay? And there's a bunch of people in the smack in the middle. They're surrounding them. Nobody gets scratched, nobody gets hurt. It's so Hollywood. Oh my god. It, this is it's made for Disney World kids plus kids plus kids. Plus and, and, kids. Being, and being violent friendly against the world and the, the way we're supposed to judge the dinosaur. It, 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 I don't know. To me it's an example. I was getting frustrated. Nothing makes sense. It was all stupid over stupid. Uh, the dinosaurs fight or the dinosaurs attack, and this is not. Think of this way: if I know this dinosaurs roaming, okay? Now, except now, people are carrying guns and, and rifles and machine guns, and especially in the states, for example, we all know about the shootings and all that. And here, there's dinosaurs running around, and nobody has a gun. No, and all those five, six people at the end, not even one has a rifle strapped around again. Not even a fucking gun. There's dinosaurs walking around. They're running on bikes. Seriously. Because as the message said, we're supposed to be intertwined together. And I know it's hokey, and believe me, I'm probably gonna watch this again later on and go, what was I thinking? But today, it just worked for me. It is too long, 10 minutes too long. Like I said, it, like I agree, it makes no sense. But I didn't expect it to. It's, it's Jurassic Park. And, uh, and, and all the science from the first one, how we're gonna intertwine together. What, with the first trilogy went out the window by the third one, this is the same case. They're just mimicking the trilogy of the first one. The first one is great and it goes successively lesser quality. This is the worst one of the three. And no, it's the least realistic. Because the other one's more or less was, was put in an island and something went wrong because yeah. they were looking for profit or something. Uh, they, they create something that, they, that their technology wasn't supposed to handle this certain kind of creature, okay? Right. That, and, and I like that. It was not bad. You know, it's a little bit, but this one here, holy crap. And I agree. Crap. But for some reason, like I said, I agree with you. It makes no sense. It doesn't work. But as an escapism popcorn film, today, I, I bought into it. Like I said, if I watch it again tomorrow, I'm gonna go like, what the hell was I thinking? But I guess yeah, I set my expectations so low on this one, after I heard so much negative reviews, that I just put it so far down that it, it I guess it kind of just went a little above how far down I think it could go. Is it a great film? No. Are, is it great to see the dinosaurs? Yeah. And that's basically, I mean, 
No one's going there to see anybody else but the dinosaurs. I don't think anybody's going, oh yes, I have to go back and see uh, Chris Pratt and rescue. No. Yeah, that's, goes, that's what you said. The whole cast is back, I said. <laughs> no, but, but, but no one's running there going, I have to go see Yeah, Chris but Pratt. cut to the chase. Everybody, you, everybody's going for the dinosaurs. You defended it. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, okay. here it is. There's three guys on a horse. Riding now to get those, uh, oh damn, those duck, duck bill uh, dinosaurs, or uh, dinosaurs or whatever, okay? And there's a herd of them, and they lice, lasso on one of them, and everything. Okay, what happened to dark guns, rifles? Boom, 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 boom. Get them all, all it, it's so much, it's, it's done like that dinosaurs, it's a, oh, let's take our time to catch them and everything. No! They're chaotic. They're, 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 look, if the people were talking about animals and fishes and, and all these plants, invasive, inv invasive uh, creatures or organic material, whatever, dinosaurs are more invasive than Dutch can get. Because automatically, I'm 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 the Lion King ain't a, ain't a king no more. He's dessert. He's an entree. So to me, it's kind of, there's a lot of things they're trying to make it look too cute, too funny. They're, they're driving around the city. Oh yeah, here's the other, aha, uh -huh. oh, there we go. There was this, the, the, the flying the, the, the saurus there, or the humongous one, the Pegas, Pegasaurus, whatever. There's this humongous building. I don't know if it's New York or Chicago and everything. It builds a nest. Yeah, yeah, two was, of them. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Now, people are like, oh, it's cute. It's really nice. Okay, excuse me. They have to eat something, which is they don't catch your dog. It's your horse, or it's you, or your kids. No, let, let's make them build a nest. You know, there's so much stick that doesn't make sense. It's so stupid. It's like, and you know, letting it be, I don't get it. I really don't get it. They over exaggerated to a point. It's like, oh, this is gonna work. The, this to me is like Superman, Superman versus Batman, or James, old John, James Bond and everything, that nothing makes sense for me. And that's what my, my, my I was making little jokes in the middle of the cinema to Steven, I felt sorry for him, because I, I got uh, pulled away from the movie. I was getting, getting distracted, because my, 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 my little brain in the back, which works once in a while, the, 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 the intellectual one, was getting frustrated subconsciously. Well, what the heck does it make sense? A lot of things, a lot of things I forgot. I should, if I brought, I brought a pad and a pen, man, I would have made a book. So for me, look, it's still worth to see cheapy night. There you go. That's right. Not more than that. Night. Cheapy night. And you have to go there like like he did. Low expectations. Very low, low. I went low. Because dinosaurs walking on snow or swimming under the water, dinosaurs, not the fish and everything. I don't know about you, I see a lot of the pre prehistoric uh, TV documentary on TV and all of that. Nobody talks to me about these things. They never explain that why these things are happening. But it, you have to go there thinking you're a teenage kid or younger and you love dinosaurs and you're not willing to look at the real world. It's in other words, it's like in other words, Star Wars. There you go. I hate Star Wars. I love, I'm a Trekkie. I'm a Trekkie guy. So that's it. Uh, personally, Cheapy Night. I Anything more than that, I swear to God, you're going to bang your head, you're going to be coming out of hell and saying loser or sucker. So I would say Cheapy Night, or if you've seen the first two and really want to know how it ends. But Cheapy Night. But Cheapy Night. You have to so, Cheapy Night. Yeah, so we both agree on that. I think I liked it a little bit more than Geo today because I, I set the expectations so low. I mean low, and you can ask me how low I can go, I can go pretty low. Mm, that's not what I, she said. I watched Ghost Rider once, you know what that's I mean? That's not what she said. <laughs> well, okay. Because to me, was because the one before was much better. Yeah. I agree. This one here, I am sorry they lost it completely. They think, they, to me what it is, it's like we're going to put our star crew of cast of, of Jurassic Park to yeah. us, and it's going to make for it. Like the uh, Ghostbusters and the, uh, with all these great yeah. actresses or actors, and it went nowhere. And this is the same thing for me. All right. So that being said, we recommend it for a cheapy night only, and if you're desperate. So this is... Uh, like us, like us. Gio. Gio, Steven. Welcome to be back to the round table. Hit the like button, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of the film. See you soon.